So um, in problem number one, some sort of diagram showing electrical energy is converted to heat energy is fine, or you can draw a toaster. In the variable list, the time is 2.5 minutes, which this person converted to 150 seconds in the variable list. That's appropriate. And the 1500 watts is the power. So you're going to solve P equals W over T for W. This is the equation we have in our toolbox. We're going to solve it for W. They multiply both sides by T. They got a solution. They plugged in their values using units, and they got about uh, 230,000 joules of energy uh, with significant figures. So that's a good solution. Okay. On the second one, a car is coasting along a level road. It approaches a hill. When it gets to the top of the hill, its velocity is 11. So we are expecting a number bigger than 11. Um, it says energy is conserved, so we know the work equals zero. So they are going to apply the mechanical energy theorem. That gives them this equation. They are going to solve that equation for V initial, which they do algebraically. There's the algebraic solution. I don't want V initial squared. I want V initial, so there's the solution. They plugged in their numbers, including units, and got themselves a nice answer. So that's a good example of a, of a complete solution that is correct. All right, on problem number three, at the top of a hill, the roller coaster um, is three meters per second, and at the next hill, which is half as high. So this person chose to make the ground y equals zero, which means the initial height is 16 meters and the final height is 18 meters, eight meters. That's half of 16. There's other ways you can do that, but this is an example. They showed me their reference point. They applied the mechanical energy, the work energy theorem. They developed an equation. They told me they're going to solve this equation for v final. They solved it for v final algebraically, and then they plugged in their numbers and got the final velocity at the top of the second hill. A lot of people actually found the velocity at the bottom of the first hill and then used that to find the velocity at the top of the next hill. And that's valid. That's just a really long way to go. So this is, I mean, if energy is conserved, the energy here is the same as the energy there, whether or not you find out how fast it's moving at the bottom there. Number four, to find the power, you need to have some sort of diagram that has a level road. Define your reference point. So y equals zero is the road. That means that h initial and h final are both zero. Um, you're going to apply the work energy theorem to find the work. That's the first thing. Turned out to be about 5,400 joules. And then step two is to evaluate the power is the work over the time. This is a multi-step problem, and so I need you to enumerate. Here's step one. Here's step two. So if there's more than one step, order the steps so I can see which one, what we're doing where. Um, 675 watts is then the answer. All right. Um, number five. Um, uh, where is number five? Sorry. Here's number five. I don't know why I can't see that. Um, so on number five, we have... Um, A car which starts at rest at the bottom of the hill and it goes up the hill and when it gets to the top nine seconds later I want to know how fast it's going so the thing here to realize is that this 50,000 watts is the power so step one is going to use the power and the time to find the work the energy transferred to the car from the engine so that's the first step and it's 450,000 joules then once you know the work you can apply the work energy theorem the work is not zero. We just found it. So you're going to try to solve this equation for V final, the velocity at the top of the hill. When you plug in everything, you get an expression that looks like this. My only quibble with this is they need to show a grouping with the radicals, so maybe make that a little deeper. Um, plug in your numbers, and you get about 22.23 meters per second as the final velocity. Okay? So this is a two-step problem. It needs two steps. One step, two step. Show your steps. The last one was a little more difficult because you haven't seen something like this before, but you can take what you know and solve it. This person chose to call the initial velocity x because they don't know it, and the velocity at the bottom of the hill is x plus 2 because when you get to the bottom of the hill, you're going 2 meters per second faster. So they applied the work energy theorem to develop an equation, and then instead of v initial, they put in x squared, and instead of v final, they put in x plus 2 squared. So then, to solve this equation, you have to expand this binomial, x plus 2 squared. You've got to use FOIL. When you do that, 
you, uh, you can write it like this. So they got x plus 2 squared is x squared plus 4x plus 4. You can then distribute, cancel a couple terms, and solve for x, and it turns out to be 2.68 meters per second is x. And that was worth 5 points. Okay, so that's the answer key. Um, you can uh, ask me any questions if you have any um, remaining about what happened there or what happened on your exam.